Hey Stanford, Kate again. Oops, yeah, we are recording. <laughs> Lights, camera, action, sound, and all that. So uh, the last card I made was pretty quick, so I thought I'd do two with you tonight. So uh, these are two of these cute little things. So we can stamp, color, and get all these done. So I've got two card bases and my designer series paper, which is from the Whaler. Whale of a time, is it? I think it's the Whale of a time designer series paper. So I like to score both of these, and these are just standard A4s cut in half. I didn't have another one of those with little fishes on, so I'm using the little seahorse ones for this card. They're just so cute. I just think they're adorable. And I just wanted to, because I'd made the cards, I did say to people, Did you want me to? make them and they said yes so i just thought because the last card only took a few minutes to make so i thought oh wow i'm gonna have to do two together on this one because i know you ladies like long some of you like long videos some of you like short videos so this one is for my turtle and i think that turtle is just the cutest little thing ever and like I say, after I've done playing with all these stamp sets and dies, I'm going to do a little giveaway. So my little turtle is going on there. So when I stamp a thank you, it's going to be straight. So that, and this piece is two and three quarters by three and seven eighths. And then this piece, uh, both of the Diziana series pages are, oh, because we use that way. No, I quite like the busyness that's going on. So, um... They're both three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. So they're like a quarter of an inch smaller than our base cards, which are five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter, scored and folded at four and one eighth. And that just gives me a nice little even border all the way around. Well, it would help if I got the stamp set gainer. <laughs> it certainly would. Where have you been? Where have you gone? Right, let's see. Well, that's not them. Have they disappeared too? Well, that's strange. One, two. I need that one. But thank you so much. Where have they disappeared? Oh, well, there's that one for the snail and the turtle. There we go. Okay, I was getting carried away. Right, let me sort out this beautiful little turtle here. First of all, he is going on here at a slant. I've normally got everything ready for a card when I'm doing it, so I don't know why I didn't then. Better. So, that's just the cutest little turtle ever. Ha, oh, there it is. Look how cute he is. Beautiful. Move my cloth out. I will get my dimensionals out ready as well. like to be prepared. So he can go back now. It's just so cute. Right, that can go to one side just for a moment. Then our scrap piece, we need that cute little fishy face. And don't worry if the eyes don't ever turn out as dark. This is why we've got the black marker pen. Coat. And I want the thank you so much on both of the cards. So that's good. So I want one. In fact, I want that in my dark, dark colour for this one. But 
perfect. I can trim that out to the size that I uh, want. So I'll leave that there for a moment while I get that beautiful snail. It's so cute. Perfect. How cute's that? So I'm going to put my thank you back on there. That's going away. We can choose what green we want when we come to it. Pop that to one side. I love this hippo. I think it's just so. Well, they're all cute, so I wouldn't have got that. But I am going to be giving doing a giveaway for the stamps and dies that I received. Because once I've had a play, I, they tend to be played with once and then I put them away and I never seem to bother with them again. Not for that, because I don't want to, it's just not, not my cup of tea to keep them forever. So I would sooner pass them on. And I like Mossy Meadow, so I'm gonna use that one this time. We can change these up, we can what we like with them we can add any color we could have changed the color but I want to try and keep that straight because I know it's going on my card at slant cute as a button always make sure you click them back into place any slight little bit of air in there will uh, dry them out and that is one thing we don't want to do, is dry out our expensive ink pads. And I've just sent away for all the re-inkers, but they're all on back order. And they have been for a couple of weeks now, so I have no idea when I'll get them. But they will come eventually. <laughs> so this section on my card there measures, where have you gone? one and five eighths by three quarters so what i'm going to do is here i am going to cut out my snail and i can trim down my little fishy perfect and then i can take this down to what was it one and five eighths by three quarters. So, so if I do that there, that means I can spin that round. That's got it. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to trim off the end. And there's my one and five eighths. So this can go for another project. And so can that one. I like to put them up there out of the way. And I need a piece of Knight of Navy. <laughs> I have here. And that was one and seven eighths by seven eighths. So that's the perfect one seven eighths by seven eighths. That should be enough. Where'd they gone? There they are. There it is. That's how cute that's going to go together. <laughs> this can only be for another card. And all we need to do now is glue those two pieces together. Dum, da dum, dum.
always taking the time, isn't it, just to get it right. And I can pop that on dimensionals. And I can get the backings off anyway. So, this time, I'm looking at my snail and my fish on this card. And I'm going to keep them in the same position, I think. So I'm going to have my thank you around about there. That can go there. I'm not going to pop this on dimensionals until I've coloured. So let's do some colouring. And my colours. Smoky slate, dark, light and dark. So light first. Very shell. And I used, I think it was terracotta tile. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have a look in a minute now. It's this one. Oh, Cajun Craze actually for his body. And then I just went around his swirl with the dark. And just under there. Perfect. I mean, I could do the dots as well. Also, I don't know why it's got circle dots around there. I don't know. Um, my little fishy's face is orange. And that's the light pumpkin pie. Don't ask me why I've gone on from one to the other. My favourite part, the colour red. Just going back under the eyes because that's where the shadow would be. Just give it a second coat. I've forgotten to get out the yellow for his eyes. Is a button. I know I've still got to cut them out, but that one's done. Right now for my light cage and craze. Yeah. Do you know, I don't think that's it. Is it's the same colour? Oh, I've gone on the whites of his eye. dry is a totally different colour. I made a couple of boob boobs on that one so watch this. Go over his eyeball, gets rid of that colour on there. Oh he can't beat these. Right now the dark. I'm gonna stick to the small and I'm just going around where those dots were. I don't know why that was there, but... It's going to be darker. A little bit under his chin. So adorable. So they're done. 
And now for this beautiful little tail. I love this tail. I think it's so cute. And I'm loving the green colours. And then the dark is just going to cute as a button. So cute. And now I'm going to go in for the shell in the light and the dark. And I'm not fussed if I go over because I'm going over the other bits with dark anyway. So this is the light. So cute. But this time I'm going in with the small end. love it. I love these shades of greens together. And the reason I'm doing the two cards is because one there's no fussy cutting on this card whatsoever it's just a little bit of colouring and there's fussy cutting on the other one and there's only two items so they would literally have taken no time at all to do these. Where's that little butterfly from? And where have I missed that to? Oh where have they gone? There, there, there it is. That tiny little butterfly there. Just to add on there. I forgot all about that until I just looked back on my card. So. Perfect. And yeah, this one's got some cute little things. It's got love hearts, little bubbles, water splashes, stars, heart shapes. Beautiful. And the colours I used were light and dark. So I'm going to go back to these. Cute. Perfect. So he is ready to go on his card with a few dimensionals.
bit of Winker Stella on the end. Some sequins, so I'll come back to that one in a moment. Scissors now to cut out these. And now this beep, I love this giant snail, I think it's just so adorable. And quite easy to cut out. He is reminding me of a love art. Cute as a button. Again, some dimensionals. be good. Perfect. I'm tilting back a little teeny bit. so much. Right, sequins now. Cute as a button. So I put five on that one. That is cute. And then on this one, I added the blue rhinestones because I think the ones in the metallic over look more green. So I added three of those. One, two. And three. They are so cute. And what I'm going to do is just grab out my Winker Stella because I think they deserve a little bit of sparkle. Seeing as they're so cute. I don't have to add 10 tons of things either. I mean, that's a cute card. But I'm just going to go over with Shell. Maybe the butterflies. So he's done. Uh, I didn't add any on there, but I think I will. I'm just going to add it on the fish and the snail because they both live underwater. Oh, shavings, there it is all over my desk, look, way too much come out. And while it's out, let's grab some. And make sure it gets picked up and scooped up. Wow, I've got a 
all that sparkle on the desk got a waste. So there's the two of those. There's the two of those. Give him a little glint in his eye. And there we have it. There are them two lovely little cards. Cute as a button. What's the pity I'm now covered in glitter? <laughs> but I hope you like them. I think they are cute. Like I say, I'm on the last card that I make. I am gonna do uh I'm gonna give a couple of days after. The last card will be this one which is the meant to be and I'll show you how I made this one and cut out all the things and then I will do if you leave a nice comment on if you go back and leave a nice video a comment on all the five videos that I've done so in the art seven cards let me just try one two three four five six actually six cards because there's two here there's seven in total if you leave a nice comment on each one um, I'll enter you into a draw to win the dies and the stamp sets that were sent to me so thumbs up share brilliant subscribe a little bell ding ding and i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye